Hi there, I'm Sarah from Inknow. In this video today, we're going to be going over some different features in Microsoft Teams for you to implement into your classroom. These tips and tricks will help you run your classroom more smoothly and can even help you engage your students during class. So let's jump into it. My first tip for you guys is to hard mute your students. This means that students won't be able to unmute themselves during one of your classes. This is useful because it will help to cause less disruption during your class. You can always unmute the students if you want them to answer a question. So to do this, you have to be a meeting organizer and you can just go into any upcoming meeting and edit and then click on the meeting options. A new page will open up with your options for the meeting. So first we can check who can present to only me and allowing attendees to unmute change to no. This way now all of my students are attendees and I am the meeting organizer still. Tip two is to set specific people to present during your class. So if you have a co-teacher or you know one of your students is going to be sharing their screen and presenting, you can set that ahead of time. So back to who can present, you can change it to specific people and then search for the participant or participants that you want. Tip number three is not allowing students to bypass the lobby. The lobby comes in handy for you to admit students as they're ready to join the meeting. So then you're the only one who can start the meeting. Students won't be able to begin class without you. So to do this, we can just change up here for who can bypass the lobby to only me. Once all of your options are set, you can just hit save. Some teachers don't like to have the chat feature turned on and available for students during class. So to disable this chat feature, you can go into one of your channels and click on manage channel. Then in the permissions, you can change it to only owners can post messages. This will also turn off the chat feature for students during class. The last feature is the noise suppression feature of Teams. So up in our user profile, we can go into settings and devices. Here you'll see a noise suppression option. So this means that Teams will block out all of the background noise for your video. So dogs barking or kids in the background, that will all be quieted. So it is set to auto, but there's also high and low options. The high option does take quite a bit of resources for your computer to run, so it will resort back to lower auto if it's getting to be too much for your computer but low will take out the fan or air conditioning or any other small noises that are right by your computer. So you should be set with low. Before we allowed students not to unmute themselves. However, if you need to change that during your meeting, you can access your meeting options from the three dots and change any of those settings right from your meeting. Another really great feature of Teams is the spotlight feature. So this feature allows one video to be highlighted and shown full screen. So this is great if all of my students' videos are turned on, but I want them paying attention to my video instead of other people's. So to do this, I can go up into the participants tab and under my name, I can click on the three dots and click spotlight me. So I can also do this for other students. However, students cannot do this for themselves. So let's take a look at what this looks like on the student side. So here I am full screen for my students. All right, tip number seven is to get a transcript of your whole entire class. So to do this, we first need to have a recording of your class. So this is really nice if a student has missed class and didn't get to see it. Now they have a recording along with a full transcript of the class. To view the transcript, we can stop the recording and then download the link in your Microsoft Stream. Then you'll be able to get a full transcription along with the recording of your class. Tip number eight is to turn on your live captions. So also in the more actions, we can turn on our live captions. So this will give students the ability to read what you are saying, just in case your audio is cutting in and out. Unfortunately, right now, this feature is only supported with English. 
The next tip I have for you guys is to download the attendance report. This report must be done before the meeting is ended. Otherwise, only your IT department has access to this attendance report. So to download it before you end your meeting, go up to show participants. And with the three dots here, you can download this attendance list. Then you'll be able to open an Excel document of when your students have entered the meeting and when they have left. The next tip I have for you guys is the much anticipated breakout rooms. This feature has been in the process of being rolled out on Teams for quite a while now, but it's finally here. So to use it, you can go up to the square on the top screen and it will lead you to the page to choose to split your students automatically or manually in pre-assigned groups. So breakout rooms allows you to split your students up into different groups so that they can collaborate with each other. I have a whole video on just this feature of Teams, so check it out if you want some more information. Another really great feature of Teams is the Insights tab. So over with the three dots, you can open up insights to get a little bit more information on how your students are utilizing Teams. So you can click on whichever team that you prefer and you'll be able to see some information on the student's activity throughout their usage of Teams. So you can track the student activity by student or by activity or even by date range, which is super great. You can even use this feature as another attendance tracker for you. Another tip that I have for you guys is to create your post in your channels as announcements. So this is a really fun way to highlight things that you are going to say when you post it in your channel. So I can add a new post here, but instead of a conversation, I will make it an announcement. So this gives my post a nice big headline so that it will catch students' eyes. So I can type up here. And when I am completed, I can send it to post. Another fun tip of Teams is that you can pin any of your posts. So to do this, just hover over the post that you want and click on the three dots and you can select pin. Then you will be notified that this post is pinned. And when you go into the channel information, you can see the pinned post appears in this side menu. You can also pin your chat messages in the same way. So this will bring your pinned messages up to the top and can kind of help you with any tasks that you might have if you need to reply to students. And once your reply is done, you can unpin it and it goes back to normal. Another good way to engage your students is to implement polls into your channels and meetings. So for your channels, you can click on the three dots and just add a form and then you'll be able to create your poll right here and add it into your channel. This gets students involved and active right away. The second to last feature I have for you guys is a little bit more on the fun side. You guys can add emojis into your channel names. So this will highlight and call out attention to that channel and also have a little bit more fun with your class. So we can just add a new channel. And to add an emoji, just click on your Windows key and the period and it will open up your emoji keyboard. Then you can click on any of that you like and add the channel. And my last tip for you guys is to use templates when creating a new team. I know some teachers have a lot of different teams and many of them are set up in the same way. So instead of creating each one from scratch, you can use a template. So to do this, just join or create a team create a new team and pick which kind you want it to be. And instead of creating it from scratch, click create a team using an existing team as a template. And then it will allow you to use any of your previous teams as a template. With other industries, Teams has some templates of their own that you can use, but unfortunately they don't have any for education yet. So hopefully they create it soon. Thank you guys so much for sticking through all these different tips and tricks. I hope you found a few to implement into your classroom. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.